Okay then guys, welcome back to Earth Lock. I have pretty much nothing to do today outside of completing this fucking game, so one way or another it's going to happen. I just really, really wish that the uh, the old corpse run, so to speak, from this save point to the boss wasn't quite so long and cutscene-y and battle-y and... There's so much, so much, so much, so much. Look at all this, look at all this much that we have to get through every time we want to take a stab at the old boss fight. Ludicrous, isn't it? Just ludicrous. Also very loud. I think I mentioned that last time as well, but that hasn't changed. It's still very, very loud. I really wish we could skip all this. Right, let's go. Let's go. We'll ignore the spooky water people. I have no fear of the spooky water people. I've been spooked by worst in the past. I'm a big brave boy. I played through layers of fear and didn't squeal like a girl once. Yeah. That's my, my claim. <laughs> That's my, my points in my favour right there. No girly screaming. Can I just like, I know this is going to be the longest thing in the world, but I'm just intrigued whether it will let me. I think it's an invisible wall actually. Yeah, there is. Oh, thanks game. Guess we can't go around that way. You can either take the route we took last time, which involves trudging through water, much like this, or I'm trying to work out a quickest route because I get the feeling I'm not going to do this in one attempt and uh, I want to make this as easy for myself as possible in future. If I go this way, I'm going to have to fight all the spooks. Presumably. No? None of them are growing. Okay, well that's cool. Now we got one. That's not one, that's three. That's, that's a, a number drastically different from one. I really don't want to waste ammo on these. Fine, you haste yourself. See what good that does. Really wish we could run away from these fights. I mean, I get why you can't, because let's face it, for the last two hours of, of gameplay, I've literally just been running from everything that I don't have to fight. But, despite that, it would it would still be cool if we could you know if we have to go through this big long arduous section every time we, we die it would be pretty swell if uh, we could at least skip the enemies especially considering they don't really do anything I mean they're not like a challenge they're just slowing down my progress really aren't they really all they're achieving Go away. Fine, don't go away. Fine, we'll fight you. I kind of thought I'd be able to make it to the, the platform, but I guess not. Well aware of which one of these two is the more dangerous, so we'll focus on Tiger first. Shadow Tiger! Having said that... What? <laughs> I was expecting that to be some really threatening attack, but it, it just it just killed itself. That's literally all it did. It it just it just straight up suicided. See that four nine crit there? It would have been really nice to get that on the boss. I'm being honest. You know? I can't believe there isn't a save point. Like at all. I'm not seeing one. Just a chest off to my left, isn't it? So you'd really think there would be a save point. This is. I'm not overly keen on this. I mean, I know a lot of JRPGs do this for the final boss fight. Have you do like a gauntlet? You can't, you know, you can't save halfway through, so you have to. It's to sort of prove that you're strong enough to fight the boss, almost. But 
In the case of this game, the gauntlet isn't difficult, it's just a fucking pain in the ass. It's just, you know, waste fucking 5 minutes and 13 seconds of your time. And then he vanished! <laughs> I forgot that. No, it just randomly yells help. <laughs> just randomly. I feel like that one was lost in translation. I don't know if this was originally written in English or what, but... It certainly doesn't feel like it sometimes. Right, okay, yeah, we, we, got, we got it. We know what, what this is all about. We don't really know what this is all about, do we? Whatever, punch him. He's got too much health. Can I just can I just point out the the health on this this guy? It's quite high. Uh regen no, don't need regen. Heal. Heal so bad. Why is heal so bad? Jesus fuck, can you, can you stop that please? Oh, why didn't I put you back in shooty stance? I'm regretting all of my decisions. Let's see if Curse does more damage than uh, the alternative. Oh shit! She died. Well, I think this attempt's already over. <laughs> Why did she die? Did she have like 12 debuffs and I didn't notice? Because if so, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad of me to just not pick up on that. Can you stop? Can, can you stop? Like this isn't even the bit of the fight that was causing me difficulty last time. This is this is this is the easy phase. Fucking a. I guess we'll just we'll just die then. I guess that's what's happening here. All right, now we're into the hard bit of the fight. Just in time. Does fire breath work? No. Okay. Cool. Good to know. That was that was what is called a trial and error attempt. Um. Oh, that went just, just awful. Just awful. Oh, for fucking, fucking fuck's sake. My kingdom for an option to skip all this shit. Especially considering how painful that noise is. I'm still just desperately scanning this area every time we get a good look at it to see if there's a save point that's any any closer, even even like slightly closer. Even if we could just skip this cutscene, that would be be really helpful. But I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that is not something this game is willing to willing to accommodate us with. Hi, I'm Earthlock. I hate my players having fun. Yeah. That's how this goes. This is an RPG, goddammit. Fun is the last thing that should be on your mind. It's all about the stats and the and the the um, amazing, amazing story. <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck off! I don't wanna fight you. You just you're just in the way. You just shit. I'm not okay with this video game. I know I'm being a whiny little bitch right now, but you kind of deserve getting whined at, if, if we're honest. I really, really like it if they didn't just spam heal each other as well. That, that doesn't make this any less arduous.
Fuck yeah, kill that. Off of. As we were. I don't even care. I know there's chests everywhere, but I really don't give a shit because it's like. What, what is going to possibly be in a chest at this point in the game that's going to help me? You know? <laughs> it's going to make it even longer getting all the way back to this boss again. Right. Before we go in, um. You change stance, and then we'll use some. No, that's not how you do it. Use some healing balm plus, and a healing elixir, and a healing elixir. Whatever, don't care. I'm assuming, assuming this is the last boss. So. Uh, doesn't really matter what we use at this point. We don't need to save it for anything, we just need to finish the fucking game. Hello again. I agree. Finally. <laughs> right, so here's the thing. Here's the skinny. Um, he becomes magic immune once he goes into his second phase. Which means we may as well blow Tyker's everything at the start. Correct. Correct. Get hasted, you little shit. We will, however, save Nar and Amon's joint limit break until, uh... Oh, did he fucking stun Tyke? That is such bullshit. That is some next level assholery. And now he's just fucking shitting on him. Just shitting everywhere. You're a dick. Oh, for fuck's sake, this, this fight's just... Ugh. I don't have enough turns to keep everyone alive. Oh, I'm so glad he just instantly killed Tiger again, and then Nart as well. I'm sure my first attempt at this fight went a lot better. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even... I don't even know how I could deal with this. I can't comprehend. I mean, with most, most other boss fights, it's been like, yeah, we're taking damage and that, but... It's usually like they pull off some big super attack or something, which which causes us the trouble. Um, and we have some way of avoiding that or preventing it. But with this, it's just, it's just constant damage to everyone. Just can't keep up with it. Can't even come close to keeping up with it. Nart's pretty much useless. Because what's the point of a healer who can't keep the party alive?
that, I guess. Okay, and now he's immune to a good solid half my damage, so... I mean, that's great. I can throw healing elixirs around all alike. Hang on, I've only got some... Healing elixir pluses. suppose that might be slightly more helpful. God, there's so much damage from that poison, though. And why do I have a limit break anymore? What happened to that? I came in with one. Where's it gone? Is it because Nart died? Does it deduct limit break for that. Well, Ivan and Tiger are clearly about to die, so not really much I can do about that at this point. Oh, I've survived. Oh no, not I've. She will survive. Um, right. Can, can we get a heal S? Heal S is about the only way I can counteract this sheer, sheer damage output. Why can I not spud blast S, S, S plus 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 S plus? Why can I not do that? Oh, for fuck, he reflects fire ammunition. That isn't magic, asshole. That's not what that is. Ugh. Well, kill me then. Come on, get on with it. You can do it faster than that. I'm sure you can. As I say, I wouldn't mind if I didn't have to go through all this every time. It's one thing to have to deal with a fucking ridiculous boss, but... When it's, as I say, a solid five minutes to get up to it each time. I mean, I'm 17 minutes into this video, I've tried, tried it twice. <laughs> I was sort of, uh... Sort of walking the line between I like this game and I hate this game up until this point, but... You know, this, this, this final section has done a really good job of swinging me over the edge, helping me make a decision on that, you know? <laughs> Pro tip, it hasn't brightened my, my opinion in any way whatsoever. I think a lot of games these days are like the like they they're seeing that Dark Souls. I know once again I'm going back to talking about Dark Souls. Sorry, but <laughs> a lot of games are looking at Dark Souls and thinking, well, there's a game that makes people do the same section over and over again. You know, when they die, they they then have to go back and clear everything again and. And they're like, we should do that too. But the thing is, to make that something people are willing to do, there needs to be some payoff. There needs to be... I mean... Dark, Dark Souls offers... It offers enjoyable combat for one thing and as much as I enjoy RPGs doing the same fight over and over again in turn-based combat is the most boring thing in the world and that's uh, 
you know, me going against all my principles to say that because I, I do enjoy turn-based combat, but why am I getting my turds pushed in by these fuckers now? What's going on? Um... What was I saying? I got distracted by the fact that I'm losing to some fucking little shadow douches. Yeah, the Dark Souls. The, the, the combat is more enjoyable. You know, you can see what you're doing wrong and it's not just a case of their numbers are bigger than mine. Um, and there's, there's catharsis from it. There's, there's enjoyment, you know. Even in just killing the normal dudes on the way back, you can cut them down, and you can go, "Hey, look, look, look at the, look at how badly I wreck these fools," you know. Um, but with this, it, that's not what you're getting. This is just boring. And a game has to, you know, it's it's not an easy job to to balance between. Um, gameplay that you can repeat and enjoy, and gameplay that you can repeat and loathe. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, to be honest. Let's face it, this, this section probably isn't even making it into the video anyway. I'm just talking for talking's sake. be nice if this guy would just kill himself again. It was it was much nicer when he did that. <laughs> so this will make attempt number four. I don't really know what what my plan is, what I'm what I'm intending to do when I get there, like how I can change what I'm doing to to make this a less guaranteed failure, you know. I don't even as I, say, I don't even know what I did the first time around that made me do considerably better than I've been doing ever since. Probably just dropped all my limit breaks at the start, if I'm honest. <laughs> so yeah, I think what we need to make sure is that we have enough Amory to use Spud Blast Plus Plus as soon as he goes into his second phase, and then we'll do some damage. I mean, we might get him to half health. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe at half health he stops attacking and then we can just win. <laughs> right, so we're gonna start by regening the whole party. I don't really see any point in Predator S because I'm pretty certain all that making his attacks essy does. I suppose it guarantees a burn or a, a drown. So there's that. I suppose it's, there's no point not using it as the. But yeah, for the most part, it just makes all everything take full damage from it. So it, it's good for AOE things, but it's not really any different the rest of the time. See, none of my attacks take Amri, none of my shots, which is interesting, for reasons. Let's see if this does anything. I 
think it did, you know. I think that was successful. Uh, more heals, please. As I say, we do have the backup of uh, what's it called? Uh, heal S when when we need it, which is going to be very soon, I think. Um, Spur Blast S plus plus. We did some damage! Huzzah! Punch it. Uh. Heal. Aim on. Bite. Right, now Mage S. Regen? Yeah, Regen S, because we actually can't heal S. The Regen S is better than nothing. No more Spud Blast, Spud Blast S++, I guess, so I guess we'll go... No, wait, none of these others are... Go they're just going to reflect at me, so... Exit Special, I suppose! All right, we're gonna have to start throwing some some potions about. Uh, the, what? No, healing elixir. No, sorry, healing elixir plus. Amon. And yeah, I guess we'll regen S again. Tried to counteract this in some way. I did fucking nothing. Ugh. So it's just a battle of attrition. He's not even at half health yet, and we've already popped everything useful, and we've got like 12 debuffs each. really know how we're supposed to outlast this. This constant stacking up of debuffs. There's no, like, remove all debuff spell, because if there was, that would be really fucking useful, but all we can really do is cure the poison, which ain't getting us nowhere. Apparently Amon's dead. <laughs> Could have fooled me, but he's uh Oh we we can't use a kiss of so he's on zero HP but he's still alive. That's that's very interesting. <laughs> sure. Yay, back from the dead. <laughs> um Right. Nah apparently he's just gonna spend every turn healing himself. Oh, what is this now? Oh, is he just changing back to his less horrible form? Are we in the clear? Can I can I fire breath him now? Yes, yes I can. I mean, we've still got all the fucking debuffs, but... This is the furthest we've got, so... Hooray for us, I guess. Ah, it's Bud Blast Plus Plus, but uh, I guess we can just... Do some shit blasts now. Shit blasts. <laughs> That's not a term I am comfortable using. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh what no! No, do not do that. No no F oh fucking no. Just no. Who said this was okay? Ugh.
Well, it died. <laughs> That's interesting, I guess. Using up all the healing elixir pluses. Just sitting here waiting on a Taika limit break. It doesn't seem to be overly keen on coming. See, the, these little dudes only last like one tip. Oh, he kills them to gain magic up. Oh god. I see what's happening. I do not like that. We got a limit break. Can we? We can. We're still alive! In fact, was he healing from killing those as well? Was that also a... Was that also a thing that happened? He seems to have more health than he, he did earlier, or is it just me? It's probably just me, isn't it? Whatever! I strap drop! Probably does less damage. Well, we were almost getting somewhere. We, we came close to maybe getting him to half health. What what do we do? How do, how do we handle this? Like, presumably we have to kill the dudes before he absorbs them. Then. Which in most games would be fine, but we don't have the damage output to do that. We don't have the capability, I mean we have literally one turn. They shoot and then he absorbs them. In one turn. We have to defeat one and then be on to the next one. And this is con considering how much damage I was taking at that point, what with all the stacked up debuffs from the previous phase, plus all the damage from the dudes. I was basically having to throw potions around two out of every three turns. Which makes it somewhat hard to deal damage, you know? At least that phase appears to be over now, so, I mean, we might still have some sort of chance here. I'm not holding my breath light, but and that was my last healing Alexa Plus. <laughs> That's it, just have seven turns, whatever, do what you want, dude. First aid drop. Yeah, it's shit, but it's something. It's just... Relentless. It's relentless. It's a good word for it. Once you're on the back foot, and that's, this is the case with any fight in this game, once you're on the back foot, you've pretty much lost. I'm using every turn, resurrecting and healing, and then he's just killing me again. There we go.
See, I'm fairly sure, certain this is the last boss. I'm, I'm pretty confident in that. The stinks of last boss. So I really, really don't want to have to quit this game at this point. Like, clearly five minutes from the end. But I just don't understand how I could... I, I can't even fathom an existence where I win that fight. I'm sure it's possible. I'm sure if you're an expert at this game and you, you know all the all the secret tricks and all the min-maxing and all that, I'm sure you, it, it's something you can do. It will have been play-tested to some degree, I'm certain. But as someone who has just been playing through the game like a regular Joe, <laughs> Joe, as someone who's just, you know, a gamer playing the game, it just seems ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, as I say, the other fights, they've, they've all had their challenges. In fact, honestly, for the most part, aside from maybe one or two of them, I think these the boss fights in this game have been very good. They've been... They've all been very challenging. Most of them have taken me, you know, a couple of attempts. Or at the very least, sort of had me worrying I'm about to lose just as I win, you know. Um, they've been very well balanced, very very well put together, some interesting mechanics and things, but this one is just... Why? Just why? I say, if a game had ever set out to leave a fucking sour taste in my mouth at the end of it, then it's this one. Even if I finish this game, I'm not going to have fond memories of it. I'm going to remember it as the game that was a fucking dick for the last hour of gameplay or whatever. Bullshit. Bullshit area. Bullshit boss. Bullshit amount of unskippable cutscenes that you have to watch every time you die. Just... It's just the epitome of... of bullshit. It genuinely feels like someone sat down and thought to themselves, you know what? Let's make this just as shitty as possible at the end. Our game's been too good up to this point. We can't have that. Obviously they have an inflated, uh, inflated sense of self-worth because their game clearly hasn't been that good up to this point. It's been okay up to this point. It's kept me going, but... Hardly like, hardly a game to get excited about, is it? Let's be real. It's just, it just is. It's just Earthlock doing its Earthlock thing. I know I'm being overly quiet, by the way. I'm aware that I'm not exactly being Mr. Game Commentary right now, but... Honestly, when you've done this so many times, it's kind of run out of things to say about it. Look, it's a Shadow Knot again. walk along here. If we're lucky we might avoid the second fight, but 
No guarantees. Hey, we did. And then we get to go into the boss fight and die. And the cycle goes on. I wish it was more obvious where you have to go in the menu to change stance. I've done it a million times and I can still never fucking remember. Uh, healing bomb plus... Nope. Healing bomb plus plus. That'll do. Shall we just... Uh, I know it's a bit of a detour. Oh, fuck. I guess not. I was going to say we'll go down to the left because there's a chest over there that I don't think is guarded, but... I guess we wandered too close to this. I see you, chest. Here he is again. Knock off Final Fantasy villain. It could be Genova, it could be uh, Seymour. It's very Seymourish as well, isn't it? Ugh. Good start. Should we just go ham? Let's just go ham. Where's fucking, fucking that one? This big boy. That health pool. That fucking health pool. And can you just stop hitting one character? That's also not ideal, if we're honest. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try and heal her, but if he decides to punch her again, she's dead. Thank you. That was more like it. Oh, that was nice. If we could just get some more lucky crits like that, we might be alright. <laughs> right, no more spell blast, okay. I guess we'll this instead. And another turn. What a lucky boy he is. Uh, I guess we'll just... No, no, um, mm. that one. Kind of annoyed that Nart didn't get to use his part of that limit break. It just sort of ended. Oh, here we go, and now we're at game over time. Um, punch. Exit special, you're only going to kill yourself. Should really just be throwing potions in this phase. I mean, it can heal Taika now, but. Probably just gonna die regardless. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that. I hate these button combinations. Oh, not so gonna die. Not is so very gonna die. Oh yeah, poison as well. Yeah, that's just what we want. Yeah, more more debuffs. Thanks. Um. Yeah, it's just like. 2,000 damage a turn before we even get to what he's doing. It's just for existing, we take 2,000 damage a turn. That'll teach us. I'm aware that that was a mistake. I should have healed there. But yeah, you live and learn.
you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I've had enough of this game. It's sad. It really is sad to get to the the final boss of a game and literally just have to have to quit because it's not like I feel like I'm doing anything massively wrong. Yeah, I occasionally make a a misstep, like as I say, I should have healed there and would have kept one more party member alive, but it's like it just seems like an impossible task beating that boss, so why stick around and, and keep keep trying it? It's not gonna get us anywhere, wasting your time, wasting my time, so yeah, you know what? Thanks, Earthlock, but no thanks. We're done here. That was the depressing final part of my Let's Play Earthlock. Uh, if you want to see the grand finale, I imagine there's a better Let's Play on YouTube where someone actually finishes it, so go check them out. I'm sure they'll be, they'll be willing to oblige you. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm done. So, that was Earthlock, I guess. It's a shame. It really is a shame, because it's, it's a game that... And I'm sure I'm repeating myself here, because there's been quite a lot of downtime in this game where I've just chatted about my general opinions on it. But, to sum up... It's a game that had some good ideas. As I say, the bosses, aside from that one, were, were challenging but balanced. There was uh, The combat system was interesting. The world was small, but had a lot to do in it, which is a good thing, I honestly think. I mean, obviously, it's only a 20-hour game or whatever. If it was your more standard JRPG length, it would be double that. Um, and probably need a map double the size. But, you know, uh, keeping everything compact, keeping everything within walking distance, shall we say, is, is a good idea, I think, in an RPG. So you're not just wasting these vast swathes of land just on nothing, just endless fields between towns, you know. I like I like a compact world if it's if it's used well, and for the most part, I think this game was, you, you know, d did ut utilize its space well, shall we say. The story was shit. <laughs> I'm not going to mince my words. The story was just cliched and boring for the most part. The characters were okay, you know, pretty two-dimensional a lot of them. I, I like Nart. I thought Nart was a cool guy. Um, and Taika was a legend. <laughs> but most of the other characters just sort of were there. They had their single one-track goal in mind and they focused on it and, you know, as I say, it, wouldn't have been the end of the world because the gameplay was solid if only there weren't so many big ass bugbears so much so much vagary so much poor level design so much just well that boss <laughs> so much of that boss And, uh, you know, I've played worse, you know, even, even with me sitting here now a little, a little, uh, bitter, a little angry at, at that that just happened. Um, <laughs> even with all that, I've played worse. I really have. And if you like JRPGs that are <laughs> on the challenging side and, uh, you know, doing something vaguely a little bit fresh with the formula and aren't that bothered about having a, a, a decent plot and, and all that then maybe check it out maybe give it a, maybe give it a go yourself see if you can do any better than me on that fight um, but that's pretty much all I've got to say on the matter that was Earthlock buy it if you like it maybe they'll do better next time if they have uh, to get some income, these guys, you know. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'd, I'd like to see them do better next time. Try and make another RPG, but just not quite so... Not quite so Earthlock, you know. <laughs> God only knows what the original version of this game was like, Jesus. 
Anyway, I'll sign off now. That was that was my not quite finished let's play of Earthlock, and uh, we're done. Goodbye. I'll see you for another let's play. I hope to God this doesn't happen with an Acronox too, or else I'm just going to be less than happy. <laughs> see you later.